guys, we're here in Tokyo today to show you guys something that might be flying outside your house or even near you. And that is bugs! Yes, yeah, so we're here at Ansicada today and they specialize in insect dishes and the most popular item, which is cricket ramen. It's actually the first Japanese ramen with the cricket broth in it. Uh, not only that, we will also be showing you guys some of the most exotic and unique dishes that you guys won't find anywhere else. Alrighty, let's, let's go! go. So we kind of just walked in and it's not your typical everyday normal restaurant entrance. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. What do you... Uh, it looks really uh, unique. Unique. Yes, yes. Very unique. Yeah, so it's literally a tree branch door. There's no signs or anything. Just kind of just literally a hole in the wall. Just like insects, how they live in the hole in the walls. <laughs> I was still waiting for our reservation. It's 11.40 but um, our reservation's at 12. So we're just gonna walk around here, and kind of check out what they have. Admire the door, admire the yes. little doorknob. We've been feeling it and it's actually real, which, you know, I guess it'd be weird to have a fake wooden doorknob, but bing boom. Yes, yes. All right. All right, we'll show you guys the inside soon. Yep. It's really dark in here, so we can't really show you guys everything. It's a full house. It's a full house. All the seats are literally taken right now. <laughs> are you excited, Jason? I am, I am. My mom isn't excited, though. <laughs> David said he's scared of eating bugs, but I think this will be... Hopefully this will change his perspective on it. Bugs are friend. <laughs> We just got our menu. It's so cute. <laughs> and they do have an English menu, so if you guys are interested uh, and you're scared that you're really unwelcome, they're definitely English friendly. I'm actually kind of excited for my classe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, usually we uh, make uh, cricket ramen. Okay. By taking soup from a uh, cricket. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. It's actually really good. It's like a little potato chip. You never think this is like made out of cricket stuff. So. No. Now I'm excited for our next meal already. I'm like hungry. Our next, I think they're gonna pair it up with some cricket ale. Yep. Yeah. Cricket dark ale. Yeah. And next is a drink is a cricket dark ale. Our okay. original beer. Okay. Made by cricket. Oh. <laughs> wow. So you enjoy cricket combination. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much. Cheers. Cheers. Cricket dark ale. Thank you. Wow. Let's just say it definitely tastes like an IPA. If you're a definitely an IPA lover or you like really dark, strong beers, I would recommend this. <sighs> Quick overload. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So you can't even really taste the, the difference, cricket. but it is a good combination. And they also have a non-drink option. So right now what we're seeing is that a lot of people do have um, the dark ale. Dark ale. It's like a, they got something else. It's a different drink. So it's not alcoholic. So if you guys are not alcoholic drinkers, then there's an option for y'all as well. Yeah. All right, so guys, this is our second dish. We have the radish cricket soup stock. It smells really good. It smells like a really vibrant smell. A very vibrant. I think it smells good. Too, but oh, really? Yeah, I think it smells bad. It doesn't like it, but I like the smell. Let's, let's see how it tastes. Let's like. try. Let's try. Oh, wow. The radish they use the baby radish, so it's really, really soft and tender. It's basically like a very light dashi stock. Very simple, not overpowering. I think this dish really makes me confirm what a cricket tastes like. <laughs> you know, I mean, we've been, taking, we've been tasting cricket this whole time, but really, this soup really brings out the flavor of that cricket. 
And also, if you guys do want to do come here, you guys make sure to make reservations ahead of time yes. because they only take reservations for these kind of things. Yes. Uh, you want me to do it? Yes, yes, please. Oh, you, you can eat it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is a dry cricket. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, so much. Dry cricket. No, no sugar. No salt. Okay. Okay. But you can uh, enjoy natural cricket taste. Uh, okay. Guys, so we have three different kind of crickets. Um, they each have a different diet, so each one tastes differently. The manager was really nice enough to give us some to try. We'll see. Yes. Okay, right. we're gonna try it. Let's try the house, the European house cricket. It tastes like fish, like dry fish. Buffalo cricket, guys. Buffalo cricket. Buffalo cricket. All right, try it. This one's so big. I don't want. Guys, that tastes like the the, um, the cricket stock that we ate earlier. The soup is very grainy. <laughs> the thought of eating the wings and the eyes it is a little scary. Alrighty, our last one. This is vegetable cricket. Yeah, the the flavor isn't as strong. All right, we got our next course right here. It's made with cricket noodles, pistachio, and giant water bug. So they were saying that the water bug uh, smells like green apple, so we're excited for this. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. Tastes like green apples, literally. It has cream. More like a dessert, if anything. Honestly, if you were to eat this, you would never think that there'd be a bug in here. Alright, guys. We are at our next dish. It's the locust cauliflower brown daisy. It smells like a garden. So it's topped with the vegetable foam and uh, it has locust inside along with the daisy and crickets. So let's, let's, let's dig in. You know what it tastes like? Mm. Very rich and creamy. It is. I don't know if you guys can see this is the locust right here. That was salty. Yeah. So, what do you think about it so far? I'm excited for the rest, honestly. All right, for our next course, we have Sakaz role playing. They give us a straw, and there's a tree, and you basically suck out of it. Wrong hole. I got two brothels. Okay. So the first bowl actually had like a really strong sesame taste, but the other one had a really light honey taste. So the next dish we have is koi fish with fermented cucumber sauce and pickled eggplant. Wow, look at all those koi fish. I'm surprised to see that they steam the fish instead of grilling them. But the steamed fish definitely does bring out the flavor of the cucumber sauce. Oh, it's really flaky. The fish is really flaky, and you can see how soft it is just by cutting it. The pickled eggplant pairs really well with the fish, but it's also great to eat it just by itself towards the end. All right, guys, so for the next course, we have venison and mussels with fur pickles. This one's true. So the meat is really soft. Look at how easy it cuts through. It's kind of like a roast beef, actually. The sauce really complements the deer. It actually makes it not gamey at all, which I love. Alrighty, now we have the star of the show, Cricket Ramen. Look at all those crickets. There's actually two types of crickets that will be going on top of the cricket ramen as toppings, right? So the black one is your buffalo crickets and your the lighter one is your European vegetable crickets. Crispy, crunchy, and scary. And this is how they look after you defry them. 
and as you can see the lighter ones which is the European vegetable uh, crickets are on top and the buffalo in the bottom so each of the ramen bowl actually uses about 50 crickets to make the broth. It also comes with a tempura shiitake mushroom as you guys can see. And that's the pear. You know, you just can't go wrong with this ramen. The noodles were tree and the broth was light and flavorful. Guys, there's a worm in it. Look at it. It's right there. So once you bite into the worm, there was like an almost almond-like taste. David, David just swallowed it. I swallowed. <laughs> yeah, just imagine you're taking a jello shot, but just with the worm. Last but not least, the desserts. We have Momi Fear chocolate. You know how usually you would be really excited to eat the dessert, right? But from looking at this, I'm a little scared. <laughs> the worms you see on the mousse are actually nut weevil worms. The Momi Fear jelly didn't really have a taste, but it adds texture to the chocolate mousse though. Well, that was definitely a unique experience. No, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. The owner, the owner was really nice. Um, he ex even explained, you, you know, the dish beforehand to know to make sure that we know what we're eating, right? Mm -hmm. And he was really enthusiastic about the insects and the crickets. I mean, of course, right? Yeah, that, that's the story. He was really a cool guy. I definitely recommend you guys check him out for sure. Yeah. Anyways, really, guys, thank you guys for watching the video all the way through here, and. You know, we really do appreciate y'all support. Yes. It's our first video, so everything is still really fresh and we're so nervous. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure we're gonna look back to this video and be like, oh my gosh, you know, like, we have grown so much, right? Grown so much. Mm -hmm. But uh, really though, if you guys can, uh, please like and subscribe uh, for our future videos. Mm -hmm. Until the next travels. Until Bye. The travels. Bye.